Once you've prepared all the files onto your USB drive uh, and you safely ejected it, so now you come onto your car. So for this update to work, the product must be compatible with your vehicle. If it isn't, you have to find the vehicle that is. So if you cannot see our main menu like this, uh, please find a vehicle that is compatible to upgrade. If, you, if it's not compatible, you cannot do this upgrade. So to upgrade simply, plug in the USB drive, wait around 10 seconds, and a s upgrade menu will appear. Wait a few more seconds and then you can press this button here, start immediately. So please make sure you finish, uh, you read all these instructions, then you click start immediately. What the instruction says, uh, basically please do not remove the USB drive from the car. Do not remove the USB, uh, do not remove this USB from the product as well. And most importantly, please keep your vehicle on. Okay, once you've clicked start immediately and wait a few more seconds, you return to the main menu. You return to the main menu, which is normal, and the LED of the product will flash red. It will continue flashing red. It will continue flashing red for a few more minutes, two to three minutes. Please do not remove the USB drive. Do not unplug the product and do not switch off the car until it turns green again. So wait two, two to three minutes while it's flashing red. So once the LED has turned to green, please wait a moment until your Apple CarPlay functions uh, light up again. And they'll reconnect automatically. So once the LED turns green, wait until your Apple CarPlay function turn, uh, lights up again and the product will automatically reconnect itself. So now you can unplug your USB so this system does not appear. And now you can go into your sys uh, settings uh, no, for the Android box, you go into version and confirm the product uh, did indeed update by looking at the OS version here.